Good morning guys! It is Sunday and welcome to another week. We are in Maryland right now. We came to Baltimore for the annual EDS conference. Sadly that is over and home we go. But I am definitely pretty exhausted. So I'm kind of looking forward to a little bit of time in my own bed. We only really have a few days of rest though once we get home. We're actually picking up and leaving again. We're gonna be going to New York where we go to camp in the Adirondack Mountains. A little apprehensive about how the shunt might fare in such a high altitude, but we will have to see. And honestly, I'm hoping I can just use that week to get some rest. But for now, we soldier on. My back is doing a lot better. I'm still wearing the little back brace around it for compression, but it's still really tender and I still can't really sit against anything. I don't know, maybe that's my new normal. I'm hoping this isn't my new normal. Goodbye, Baltimore. Ugh, we just had another feeding tube disaster in the parking garage. <laughs> Better than on the highway. I was just on the bright side. like totally butt naked in a parking garage. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, that's the butt part. <laughs> um, yeah, that was interesting. I mean, it's just hard to manage all of these different things because they all just bother each other. Like there hasn't been as much room in my stomach area for the feeds and then now I have this really really tight brace around it and so it's pretty much just forcing everything out like I'm sitting here trying to plug the feeding bag into the feeding tube extension and I'm watching it push it out like there's just so much resistance and so much pressure <sighs> but that was a fun experience always a great way to start the morning out take two Let's drive. Nobody gets to judge me for wearing my socks with sandals because these socks are the most amazing socks ever. Bonnie hand knit me these socks. And they're not just like plain socks. They're like cabled and beautiful and have all of this detailing. Oh, she made me two pairs. I don't know how she does this. So there you go. Bringing socks with sandals back into style. If that ever was a style. Mm, not quite sure it was. Gotta get you some Birkenstocks next. You know what? That would be great. Are you actually committing to that? Because, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> There's just a little bit of traffic today. Uh, just a little. So, um, we might not be getting home until to Tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. We are home and boy does it feel good. I'm exhausted. But I'm proud of myself for going to the conference and I'm proud of myself for making it through. Might not have made it to every single lecture, but you know what? I was there. <laughs> it's gonna be so nice to have a week here to get organized. Hopefully figure out once and for all what's going on with my back. But yeah, what a week. You can probably tell how tired I am just by looking at me. Although, I did start using the Theramute under eye thing that they sent me. And I don't really know if it's working for my under eyes because it's kind of the worst timing ever <laughs> to be trying out a product for dark circles. Or maybe the best timing. Well, it's the best timing for me, but it's the worst timing for you guys to judge this product. But I can say, the other day, I had burned my face with a curling iron here. I don't know if you can see it in like the rest of the vlogs, but it was pretty bad. And <laughs> I could not get it to go away. Just kept getting redder and darker. And I was starting to get like hyperpigmentation around it. And so I just put some of this on it when I was putting it on my eyes. And literally in two days, it like completely went away and I'm kind of shocked but I shouldn't be because this is kind of made for like inflammation and discoloration but that's like totally rad I'm super uncoordinated so I do that 
basically every time I use a curling iron. So this might be a holy grail product for more than one reason. <laughs> and if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, the brand Theramu, they make CBD and emu oil products and I stinking love them because it's the only thing that helps my nerve pain. But they recently came out with this little roller ball it's like specifically made for under eye circles and bags and they sent it to me. It is called their Revive Eye Serum and I'm going to keep using it and you guys will have to tell if the dark circles get any better because... <laughs> I've had them my whole life. It would be amazing if they would fade a little bit. Anyway, if I want them to ever fade, I should probably actually get some sleep. Plus, I have an entire vlog to edit tomorrow and so much footage. So, I'm going to need my beauty rest. Hey guys, it's Monday. How do you like my new hairstyle? Do you think it suits me? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding! Ah! Wig snatch! Ah. My sister bought a wig to basically try out a new hairstyle. I think you should really <laughs> style it with a... And she let me try it on. Yeah, I want to try it. And I kind of low-key love it. But it looks really good on you. If I had to try to get my hair that straight every single day, it would take me like five hours every morning. And then I would walk outside and it would be totally poofy but pretty cool so vlogging that's not really something that happened today i apologize for that this body is done i just spent like six hours editing my video but it looks like it's not even gonna be able to go up today because there's something funky going on with our wi-fi and we have to figure out tomorrow because i just can't take it on tonight but let's see, I had my port accessed and I took a shower. And besides working on the video, I've done pretty much nothing else today. Everything hurts. For some reason, I've been noticing when I run saline, I get like really bad chills and aches. And I don't know what it is. It seems to help a lot when we heat me up. But now I'm running a low-grade fever again, so I don't know what my body's trying to tell me. I think it's just trying to tell me to stop. <laughs> but sometimes there's things that just have to get done, and you gotta make the sacrifices in life. <laughs> and going to the conference was totally a worth it sacrifice. I'm just gonna be paying for it for a few days. Thank you. God, I have shush tomorrow because my tailbone is like, I can feel it twisting and it's like stabbing me. <laughs> I'm sorry that last week's video was a daily and couldn't be helped and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, guess where I am? Back in the car. <laughs> I swear we have done way too much driving this week. Would you agree? Mama, would you agree? Oh. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't know. It gives me job security. <laughs> oh, I feel revived. Thank you so much, Trish. My whole pelvis was really screwed up. Like my pelvis, my SI, my tailbone, it was all screwed up. And I'm pretty sure it's because I've been walking around with my SI belt around my middle. So not only did I not have the SI support, but I also took away any motion from the one little area of my spine that I did have minimal motion. So my body rebelled. Now I am back in better than ever. My mom just ran into this little marketplace that we've become obsessed with. It's right down the street from the therapist and they have this like pre-made salmon dish that she loves. We try to stop here on our way home just for a little bit of a treat for her. Oh, but it was also really nice. I met a young woman in the waiting room today who also had EDS and who was killing it because she just got out of tethered cord surgery and uh, she said she watches my videos. So I just wanted to give a shout out to Ashley. You're awesome. I hope your physical therapy goes well. I always love meeting people in waiting rooms. I've met a lot of my really good friends in waiting rooms, to be honest. You can always tell the EDS patients because it's like old person, old person, old person, young person in a neck brace. The not so great news is that 
I thought that the bump on my back was pretty much completely healed and just gonna be tender for a while. But then Trish got a hold of it and it became a lot smaller. I'm not super upset about it. I'm not having a lot of symptoms from it right now, except maybe my vision is going downhill a little bit again. But my big concern is what happens when we're in the mountains. What happens next week? Should I cancel my trip? Should I contact my surgeon? Or should I just wait and see what happens? It's like a five to six hour drive from where we will be in the mountains to my surgeon in Pennsylvania. So, you know, I'm kind of just inclined to go, hope for the best. And you know, if it hits the fan, you just go to my neurosurgeon and get it fixed. It's like 10 o'clock on Tuesday night and I just finally got last week's vlog. I did not upload it. I'm so sorry, it was so late. I had computer problems, I had Wi-Fi problems, I was traveling, and I had body problems. <laughs> I don't think it has ever taken me so long to edit a video before, but I hope you guys like it. It is what it is. I need to go lie down. <laughs> Hello you guys, it is Wednesday. Everything is definitely catching up with me, and unfortunately I'm still having issues with my back to the point where we had to email my surgeon and ask if we need to come down. So everything's a little bit up in the air right now. I still really want to go to New York next week. There's that one side of me that's saying, oh, it's totally cool, you're gonna be fine. Don't let your illness stop you. You can do this. You made it through the conference and you didn't die, so you're good. But I also don't want to make any unwise decisions for my body. We're just going back and forth on it. Just waiting to see what the surgeon says. I woke up this morning and the lump is definitely bigger. It's not a good sign and it honestly, it, it hurts really badly. I might head out to my cousin's house a little bit later, see if I can catch the end of a pool party she's having. But for now, I think I'm gonna run some saline and I'm going to join my second sunflower quilt. <laughs> These are 48 squares, which is how many it takes for an entire quilt and each square takes quite a bit of time, so it's been a labor of love. And this afghan is kind of like unclaimed. I had a lot of you guys reach out and ask about commissions, but then there wasn't really any follow through. So I think when I finish it, I might list it on Etsy, which would be like first come first serve. I could do some kind of like auction thing. Is there like a site for that or? Could I do it on Instagram? I don't know. I'm just gonna finish the blanket and then I'll think about it. I also have some jewelry orders to work on, which I think I can do from bed. Yay for being productive, even when I'm resting. <laughs> Good morning, friends. It is Thursday. Sorry I didn't vlog a lot yesterday. Yesterday was, yesterday was tough. My entire body just kind of gave out on me. I was shaking and cold and running a low grade fever. I was reacting to my feeds, and I was reacting to my port dressings. I was reacting to my own hair. My throat and my back were both killing me and swelling up. And I was just like, <sighs> a little bit frustrated. Luckily today, so far, I'm feeling a tiny bit better. I have a little energy, and I think I'm gonna take a little break off of bed rest to finish a project I've been working on, but I don't think I can show you guys yet. I haven't talked to the recipient yet if it's okay to show. So I'm gonna be heading outside and I am going to be doing that. And then I am going to be disciplined and I'm going to get back in bed and rest my body. They were definitely not kidding around when they decided to call it stain. I don't know why I even bother trying to paint my nails. Well, it's Friday, so you know what that means? We're headed off to PT. Everything is still kind of up in the air. Um, I still don't feel well today at all. And it's so strange because I woke up and the bump was gone. And then when I got up, like within five, 10 minutes, it was back. So I don't really know what's going on. I have my suspicions, but I don't really like to get hung up on that, so. I'm kind of banking on what Trish says, what she feels today, to help me to decide whether or not to go through this trip, but it's definitely going to be a very long day.
finally watching Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. <laughs> Hi guys. So, I just felt like I kind of needed to sit down with you and have a little chat. There's some things that have been on my mind lately and I've been wanting to share with you but I just, you know, I've been having a hard time figuring out the words and I didn't really know if anybody else was going to be able to relate to this. Lately I've been feeling very detached. I've spent all of these years and years and years and years just fighting for my life and for the right to take back what I lost. And I'm coming to a point now where I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I'm starting to function a little bit better. And I'm finding it hard to go back. It's like there isn't anything really to go back to. And it's kind of blindsiding me. It's not something that I really expected. But I feel like sometimes I have a hard time just relating to other people. My life has been a lot different than say most people my age and I just I don't feel like I 100% fit in and I think it's because I've kind of become really unrelatable in a lot of ways. I've missed out on so many of the regular teenage young adult things. I didn't even technically finish high school. I have never learned to drive. Believe me, that is a great thing for all of society. I've never had the opportunity to do any traveling or even to move out of my childhood home. The last five, six years, my entire life has revolved around my body and just surviving day to day. And as you can imagine, for someone who's never been through that before, that is kind of overwhelming. And unfortunately, because my illness does affect every aspect of my life, and because a lot of it is pretty visible right now, I find that I have to kind of explain myself before I even have a chance to introduce myself. And somehow I feel like that kind of places me on a different level. I feel like people don't always talk to me as a peer or as an equal, but almost like they pity me which is one of the worst feelings ever <laughs> but i think recently i've just been kind of fighting against that there was just like a disconnect in my brain where part of me just doesn't understand how much has really changed since before i started to get really ill and it's been hard to come to terms with not being able to go to the beach like we used to and just having the energy that I used to. And I'm finding that I'm not even really enjoying the things that I used to really enjoy. And I think that today it kind of was hitting me especially strongly since tomorrow I was supposed to be going on vacation to a family camp up in New York with my mom and I just haven't been sure if that was a wise decision with all of this stuff that's been going on with my health. And of course Trish being Trish, uh, she was really able to feel that tension and inner struggle during our physical therapy session. So we kind of kicked my mom out of the room and had a little chat and just kind of came to the conclusion that there are a lot of things in my life that have changed drastically. And that's okay. Sometimes it's not worth holding on to things just for the sake of holding on. I was kind of feeling like I was just going on this vacation because it was booked. Not because I felt up to it whatsoever or even because I particularly wanted to. I wanted to keep things like they've always been. We've gotten to this camp for many many years and I've never skipped a year even with all of the stuff I've had going on and that was because I really wanted to be there and this year was just different. I feel like I've kind of found myself a little bit and 
I've kind of found myself in a different place. I'm really happy with where I am now and who I am, but it isn't the same person who used to go to this camp and do zip lining and uh, tubing and whitewater rafting and horseback riding. The last two years that I went, I basically spent really sick in bed from the altitude in our cabin without air conditioning and I pretty much had to miss out on everything they had to offer. And now here I was faced with the decision, should I be trying to head to my neurosurgeon and figure out whatever is happening with my shunt or should I stick it out and go to this camp and make the best of it. And that was a really difficult decision and it was a really simple decision. Taking away all of the variables of guilt and nostalgia, there really wasn't a lot left for me there. We just kind of came to the conclusion that I need to move forward in my life. That camp is really part of my old life. Maybe it is time to cut those ties. So we made the decision to stay home. And you know what? I think I already knew all this and I had already made this decision in my mind and I just really needed somebody to call me out. And I'm really lucky today that that was Trish. So I guess what I'm saying is that I encourage you guys maybe to reevaluate some of the things and some of the people in your life that don't necessarily make you feel like yourself anymore. As people, we are constantly, constantly changing and it's totally normal for things and people to be in and out of your life. Maybe it's time to reevaluate some of the things that are most important in your life and try to just surround yourself with those experiences instead of just trying to keep up the life that you feel like you have to. Sometimes you do have to take a step back and let your heart communicate with your brain because that's something that I haven't been letting happen for a really long time. I do not have the time and the emotional energy to keep people in my life who aren't making me feel good. So I really, really need to start limiting my very precious time and energy to focusing on the people and the things that are going to move me forward instead of trying to grasp at some of the things that I have left behind in my past. And I don't think it's going to be easy. But in the long run, I think I'm going to be a lot happier. So I'm kind of on a bit of a journey of self-discovery right now. I think I have been for a while. And that's a great thing. I have no doubt that there is a great future ahead of me. And I'm excited to bring you guys along with me. I just picked up this camera because I was going to show you guys the awesome new solution that I have found to my feeding tube exploding problem. And then I looked down and <laughs> I thought I was all clever and I found a clamp device online that keeps it from detaching at this level. So my body just decided to detach at that level instead. And yes, I am still wearing the exact same shirt as yesterday because I am a mess. <laughs> How do I always manage to be one step behind? Now I'll just have to like make sure that my feeding tube is always turned sideways. Let me show you what I mean. So this part right here is the actual feeding tube and then the extension is this piece here and it goes in and then you twist it and it locks it in place. So if I make sure that the feeding tube is always sideways like this, it's not really gonna go anywhere. But unfortunately, sometimes it can turn itself and then it is lined up to unlock, which hasn't happened to me before, but now that I'm having pressure issues, I think when it turned sideways, it was just like the pressure built up and poof. So I'm always going to be playing around with that now, I guess. This piece glows in the dark, which is actually really cool. And if you're wondering about this tube clip, I actually did not make this one. This I ordered from Brave Soul Blankets because I thought it was just like the cutest material I've ever seen. Like you know it's a good product when someone who actually makes and sells the exact same product buys from you. So their clips are amazing. Don't buy my clips, buy their clips. <laughs> These things are so, so well made. Hello you guys. It is 
Sunday evening and I am editing this vlog and I'm just realizing that I forgot to film an outro for this week. This week has definitely been a rough week, especially after the good week that I had last week, but I guess that's how life works. Well, especially life with EDS. <laughs> Sometimes you pay dearly for those good memories, but it doesn't make them any less good. Right now we don't really have a set plan, but I'm kind of thinking that tomorrow we're just going to end up going to the ER in Pennsylvania. It's become pretty clear that something's going wrong with my shunt, and the last thing we want is for this to get more serious or for this to cause damage that we can't as easily fix. Since we had to cancel the vacation for this week, we might as well use the week for good and I'll be honest I'm really struggling I don't know how much longer I can keep going like this I'm just in so much pain that's just how it is and I'm really really thankful for this shunt because it got me through the conference which meant the absolute world to me it got me through two different shows it got me through a visit with my cousins many lovely summer nights sitting by the fire so even though it's pretty soon for something to go wrong. I'm not really bitter about it. I'm just thankful for what it has given me and I look forward to hopefully feeling that way again very soon. But until then, I really gotta get this video edited if there's any chance we're leaving tomorrow. So I'm gonna bid you guys adieu. If you like this video, you can hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't already and you want to, you can subscribe, hit the bell, that'll notify you every time I upload a video. And if you really like me, I was nominated for a patient advocacy award through WeGo Health. I'm really excited about it, so if you want to check out the first link in the description, you can endorse me. It's totally free, all you have to do is hit the endorse button underneath my picture. And come September, when the judges make their final votes, those who have the most endorsements automatically go to the final round. So that would be so exciting, but I've said it a million times, I'm just super, super excited to be nominated. So definitely check that out. Check out some of the other awesome people doing awesome things. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.